know, we took took some steps forward last year, you know, did some good things. We lost a senior class that was just full of really great kids. So um, our guys have been doing a good job of, of stepping up and, and replacing those guys. And, and we're really looking forward to this 2023 season. Uh, we think we got, got some guys that uh, that can help get us some W's this year. DJ Jones, who was a huge help on offense, is one of the more explosive guys you're going to find throughout the whole area here. He's been great uh, for us since his sophomore year. Um, he's just a guy that can play just about anywhere in our offense. You know, he'll, he'll play slot, he'll play running back. You know, we'll split him out wide. Um, just a guy that can do some special things when he gets the ball in space. And, you know, I don't know if I ever remember a single guy bringing him down just a, just a one-on-one tackle last year when we want to throw him a fast screen or something like that. So he's just got the ability to make guys miss in space, and then if he does, he can take it the distance. We're having a quarterback battle right now. Um, you know, I, I'm excited about what, what the guys are doing at quarterback, and uh, we love competition and, and what that brings out in guys. So, you know, right now we still got a couple guys fighting for who's going to be that week one starter. Tyron Green's going to be a great guy at running back coming out of the backfield for us. Um, Peyton Rasmussen out wide, um, you know, is going to do some special things. He started all year as a sophomore, so really looking for him to, um, you know, take some strides uh, as a junior. And then uh, a senior for us, uh, Brian Schaefering, has really stepped up um, as another outside guy that can just go up and, and high point a ball and, and win some jump balls for us in, in the back of the end zone. So, yeah, we're really excited about uh, what we're going to be able to do offensively. What do you think is the, looking like the offensive line? How are they going to look this year? Uh, Jackson Pollard coming back, um, Alan Palmero coming back. That's going to be uh, two big returners. Um, Grayson Ellett's been doing a great job um, calling, the off, uh, calling the O-line stuff, uh, protection as a center. So I've uh, been really happy with the guys that are returning, um, that are stepping up and taking a leadership role, and the guys that are filling in. Um, Will Hardcastle is a big, big-bodied kid. Um, you know, he's probably, you know, 6'4", 320. Um, he's, he's been able to do some good things for us at tackle. So um, we're excited about our, our guys up front. So defensively, we're going to be green. Uh, we're going to be some guys that haven't played a ton, but I really like how we're looking athletically. You know, I think from an athletic st- standpoint defensively, um, this is probably the best athletic defense we've had since 2019 where we had just, you know, kind of a shutdown defense. Um, so athletically, I'm really – really happy with the way we're looking um it's just going to be getting those guys the experience reps that they need it's a tough one i mean you got to open with eureka and you know we, we don't ease into anything so you know i love playing them week one just because i think they're a barometer of how we can be for the season you know if you know it's a game that we can compete well against them and you know possibly even win you know we know we're we can have a pretty good season our, our conference is you know i, I would put up put it up against any public school conference in in the state i mean i just think it's excellent obviously how last year you know uh when when in state you know troy's been excellent timberland's been excellent yeah the uh the conference is brutal as well